this is a bit of a classic endothermic reaction demonstration. Um, made impressive because of a few different things. First of all, it's two solids coming together to produce a liquid. Um, so that's impressive by itself. It's the reaction of two solids that is an endothermic reaction, as an endothermic process. Um, so we sometimes this reaction is known as the ice block. Okay, in the demonstration, the endothermic reaction between two solids, uh, we're reacting two solids, um, barium hydroxide octahydrate and ammonium chloride. Have a sort of wetted piece of something underneath. So wetted piece of cardboard, wetted piece of plywood, wet safety mat, something like that. We've just sprayed a little bit of water. Um, don't need much, just a pasta pipette squirt of water on top of the, the, the wood. Um, and the reason why will become obvious later. We then have a little plastic cup or a beaker um, where we've added one of the powders. We place it down in the area of the board that's wet. We're pouring down the powder and then gently mix them um, with a glass stirring rod. We're going to add some ammonium chloride solid. Um, again, the amounts are in the handout, but you're going to add that and then you're going to keep stirring, stirring those two solids together. Um, you'll start, to, it'll look like a bit of white snow starting to form. Um, the beak will start to feel quite cold. Now again, you're noticing this. For everyone else, it sort of just looks like you're mixing two white solids together and it's still a white solid, so it doesn't appear much is happening and the temperature drop from this reaction will actually freeze the water beneath it and fuse the beaker and whatever you've got underneath it together. And then right at the end, after uh, the reactions occurred, you can actually lift the whole thing up and you'll be connected between the two of them. And that, that shows the temperature drop really, really well. When you try and lift the beaker um, off the safety mat, you'll see that it's frozen the water underneath and you're actually able to um, lift up the whole safety mat and that often really impresses the students really blown away with that you could involve the students in having the students do the stirring um, and then they tell them to lift it up and show it to the class and they'll lift the whole thing up and they'll they'll be quite amazed why has that happened well the reaction is so endothermic um, it's a very endothermic reaction is that the the, the reaction itself has drawn energy from its environment, and its environment in this case was that liquid water sitting on the wooden block. It's frozen um, that water, and that is essentially, it, it heaves the, the beaker to the wooden block, and then you've, you've lifted the whole thing up. Ammonia gas will be given off, and it's quite a strong smell. I mean, it'll disperse within you know, a metre square radius. So if the students are gathered around, they'll notice that quite distinctly. So it's not that stinky, to be honest, I've, I've smelt worse, but you could do it in a fume hood um, and you, then you wouldn't need necessarily need to worry about the ammonia vapour. In terms of teaching, this is essentially an acid-base reaction uh, that we haven't seen a lot of. So uh, a lot of the time when we do acid-base reactions, we focus on strong acids, strong bases, usually with water as the only byproduct. Uh, this is a weak acid with a strong base. Um, we get ammonia gas as one of the products. Uh, it's, a, it's still just a, a hydrogen transfer, so a fairly easy one to work out, but it's in a pretty different context to what we've seen uh, usually up to this point in chemistry. You can also use it at junior level science and junior level chemistry um, when you start introducing, okay, what is a chemical reaction? Because there's a number of things that are observable from this particular reaction. It, it could drop all the way down to like negative 20, negative 30. It can be incredibly cold. Um, the one we did for the video only got down to about negative 15, but um, it, was, it can get really, really quite cold in, in a, fraction, uh, a fraction of time. One, two minutes will be and you've, you've got a change of 40, 50 degrees, which is um, quite impressive.